Hi, my name is Tabitha Ricketts, and I'm sitting here with Kadeem Harrison. Um, we're both with the Sickle Cell Foundation of Georgia, and I'm taking this opportunity to ask him a few questions about sickle cell. So number one, Kadeem, can you please help us understand when did you discover that you had sickle cell? Well, my parents first um, found out after they picked me up from um, a daycare, and they noticed, you know, something was wrong. They took me to the doctor, and that's when they found out that I had sickle cell. And so do you have the disease or do you have the trait? I have a disease, uh, SS. Okay, well, thank you for that. Can you also tell me, how do you manage your pain crisis? Well, I try a lot hard, hard to stay away from narcotics. So I first start off with like a hot shower and sometimes it helps to ease the pain. Sometimes it doesn't. But if it doesn't, then I try to take like some over-the-counter stuff, you know, like some Motrin or something like that. So I really try hard to stay away from narcotics. So the narcotics that the doctors are prescribing, you just feel like it's too strong for your system, so you try to stay away from it. Exactly. I understand. What advice would you give other sickle cell patients that are facing crisis? Well, first of all, you have to know your body. So let's say if you get too stressed, you go into a crisis. You obviously try to avoid getting stressed. And then try other means before you, you know, go to narcotics because the side effects sometimes are just over the, it's just crazy. With the narcotics you mean? Yes. Okay. They are. So try best to, you know, try other alternatives, really. Okay. So your advice really is to try to avoid a crisis. Um, and then, of course, if you go into a crisis, you know, you're saying, you know, try to stay away from narcotics. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Try to stay away from it. But and. But if you tried everything possible mm -hmm. and it doesn't work, mm -hmm. of course, you're going to need to go to the hospital. You're going to need to get IV and you're going to need to get narcotics. Okay. So let narcotics be like the last resort. I understand. I understand. I completely understand why you're saying that. Um, Kadeem, why would you recommend Sickle Cell Foundation of Georgia as a resource for those that have sickle cell? Well, the Sickle Cell Foundation of Georgia is very, very resourceful because of the different programs that we have. The camp, for example, is very important. Like, it helps kids in so many different ways. So that is one. And then we also have the SNAP program, which help families, you know, to get food stamps and all that. So the Sickle Cell Foundation is definitely a good resource. I understand the counselors are very um, supportive here as well. You can call in and speak to some of the counselors and they can redirect you in some you know, resources and different things that's available as well for those that are struggling with sickle cell. Yes, that is true. Okay, and what about the community health workers? They really are helpful. They've been helping a lot of sickle cell patients to, you know, in different ways. Okay. Some get their utilities back on or whatever it may be. Okay. Well, Kadeem, again, thank you so much. And I'm really excited to see that you're, you know, managing so well with sickle cell and, you know, learning your body, like you said, and learning how to avoid your crisis. So thank you for allowing me this opportunity to video you. And I'm going to share it on our website as well as our social media site. So, you know, there's others that can get this information, get educated. So thank you again. No problem. Have a great day. All right.